I play my part for a better South Africa by walking the talk, being a, a living example of what I believe in and what I stand for. And what I stand for is pretty simple. I do the work of God. I try as much as I can to be a better person. Being a better person by working hard, looking after myself, healthy. I train. I work very hard. I take my career seriously. I take my businesses seriously. I'm involved in business. I'm also involved in a mentorship program where I mentor about 15 youths under my wing from um, high school all the way to tertiary. Some of them have just graduated. The, they've just started working. And then other than that, on a regular basis, for the past seven years, I visit high schools throughout the townships, throughout the country. And uh, that's something we do every week. We do about two or three high schools uh, per day. I'm actually from a school as we speak right now this morning. And uh, that in its way, it's just to tell my story and just to inspire and encourage other kids to say, I'm also from Mikasi and I'm also from a township school. I didn't go to a multiracial school, but I, but I made it with the choices that I took when I was young. And my choices were, I chose education. And, you know, um, oftentimes a lot of the question I'll ask, they'll ask me is, how long have you, like you've been in the industry for so long, how do you keep going? And I'm like, um, I may be talented, but talent alone can never really get you far. But I think what has gotten me this far is the ability to have gone to school and gotten some sort of education to be able to run a business and uh, to be in charge of my destiny. And right now I'm enjoying that, the fruits of my education. And uh, that's a message I spread out there. So that's the role I play um, in, in, in creating a better South Africa. To encourage South Africa, I do that every day actually on a daily basis on my Twitter page. Follow me on Twitter, it's I am DJ Smoo. Uh, it's just to pass on and exchange information that is of good to the next person or that might touch or change somebody's life out there. But uh, people need to just do that little thing, put a smile on somebody else's face, participate in communities. You know, we can't do the Mandela Day alone or only on that day, but I think it must be an ongoing basis thing. And that's how I've trained myself over the years to, to keep doing good all the time. There's a lot of organizations out there that are doing great deeds. It doesn't even have to be a formal structure in your own respective neighbor, neighborhood or community. Go out there and uh, donate your time, you know, do something good. Like contribute a product team. You don't just sit back and just be a number and you get paid and you, you go have fun, you drink your money, you get back to work. I don't know, uh, make, make a difference because wherever you are, somebody gave you an opportunity. So I feel it's your duty to try and pass on the opportunity as well to somebody else. They say, pay it forward, you know. You know, the message I have is a lot of the people that I bump into right now, people that I grew up with, um, they look at me and they think maybe uh, I was lucky or Nyatoma or whatever, but the one thing they forget is that we all had the same chances. We all sat in the same desk. We all didn't have parents or we grew up in single uh, parent households. We all from Elokshini as well. Um, but it's just about the choices that we made. Um, I, I didn't sit down and, and blame my parents that I was from a poor family. I didn't sit down and blame the government. I didn't sit down and blame my friends. But uh, I stood up and when people were spending their money on other things, I'd save my money to grab a cab to come to town. Because at the time there was no internet, there was no Facebook and Twitter and all of those things. So you had to get into the taxi and come to town and hustle and go to wherever you're trying to, uh, wherever you felt there was opportunities for you. So I didn't sit back. I feel pity for myself and my, my poor family, but I did something. So the message is do something. You know, you never know if you're going to succeed if, uh, if you don't give it your best shot. And I say, um, rather, try, rather fail over and over rather than just sitting down and doing nothing. So my message to you is whatever dream you have and whatever passion it is, go out there and follow it, man. You may never know. Master Reiki you know.